The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. A stinging truth, but a truth nonetheless. See, what is the light of eyes but the Cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being. If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look. How the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. Shire and Maxim. Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. Hmm. Only the willing may know the lady's embrace. You know her teaching well. And yet these sisters must exercise their gifts. For the art of absence lies in its execution. How to proceed? I wonder. Yes, submit I must into the lady's dark-fingered embrace. I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Come, sisters, soothe me.